why the legend lives on. From Manfred Mann to Shakespeare, how life has changed for Paul Jones. Record breaker Peter Scudamore saddles up for yet another winning performance. Sean Kelly is back on his bike and planning to win the Tour de France. And you could win a bicycle made for two. TV time should be right here every week. You could miss a lot if it's not. Now, it's over to the Princess Hill Golf Club, where we join the ladies at the 19th hole. Four! Straight down the middle It went straight down the middle Then it started a hook just a wee wee bit That's when my caddy lost sight of it that little white pellet has never been found to this day But it went straight down the middle Far away I'm sorry, Johnson, you've been told before You cannot set foot in a men's bar wearing a dress But I want to play darts I'm sorry, we've, we've had all this help before yeah, Well, I thought it had been resolved yeah, Oh, it hasn't been resolved yet, whether you're still a member or not ah! <laughs> I've only had a sex change, Secretary. I'm still a member of the human race. When I was a male member, I wore trousers, I could use this bar. Now I'm a female member, I'm not allowed in here. It's just so childish. Come on, Johnson, you know the rules. It was a majority vote. No women or dogs allowed in this bar. You're not entirely correct, Bennett. There's been an amendment to that rule. That dogs are now allowed back in. <laughs> well, I'm beginning to realise what it's like to be a woman. Now I wear a dress, I'm being denied rights and privileges which I grew accustomed to when I wore trousers. Listen, I'm finding this really infuriating, Secretary, and hard to put up with. Well, I'm sorry, John, it's your own fault. You should have left well alone. Throw him out, Mr Secretary. <laughs> yeah? How about you throw me out, Bennett? No fighting, no fighting in the club. All right, you step outside with me, Bennett. I'll show you a woman who's twice the man you are. I don't fight with ladies. Right, I'm going to put my trousers on just to give you a good thumping. Yeah, Miss Johnson. If you propose to be a lady, then I suggest that you behave like one. And until the committee have sorted out this problem, this sex problem that you've landed us all with, I must insist that you confine yourself to the ladies' section of this club. The mixed lounge and the ladies' sleeves. <laughs> well, I think you're just a bunch of ill-mannered chauvinist pigs. It's disgraceful the way you treat us. <laughs> We are the superior sex! We ladies! And I'm glad I had the courage to make the change! Here's your dinner, pig. Eight o'clock, I said, and eight o'clock I meant. It's all burnt up. I hope it chokes you. She'll come round. Is that your wife, Robinson? Yes, Captain. Well, please remind her that ladies are not allowed in the men's bar. What's upsetting Mrs. Johnson? You seem to prefer this place to your own home, so live here. She'll come round. This is it, ladies. This is the way to treat them. Rise up against the swine. Rend your domestic chains asunder. If I had a gun handy, I'd shoot him. <laughs> or her. That is, uh, that is getting a little out of hand, Secretary. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. President. I'm just waiting for a ruling from the RNA. No good waiting for them. They haven't got the problem. Ah, uh, yeah, well, you see, uh, that's, uh, the difficulty is, you see, that nowadays that they have new laws pertaining to these, um... Freaks. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't use that word, Bennett. Why, what word do you want to use? Because these people like... Johnson, they have rights, you see. Yes, but not here, not in this club, they have. Uh, the captain is right. Whatever privileges a member may have outside the club... Well, it doesn't count for much inside. Right. Not if it conflicts with our rules. There you are, then, Secretary. That's fair enough. Johnson's sex change is in conflict with our rules. Well, that's it. Yeah. Either he's a man or he's uh, not a member. <laughs> <laughs> well, why didn't we think of that before? Because it's not that simple, Mr President. You see, legally... Johnson is a lady. Yes, but only outside the club. Within the club, he has to be a man. Yes, but not according to law. No, I'm not talking about the law. I'm talking of club rules. But, Mr President, under the law... Under the law, they're turning this country into a haven for all kinds of perverts and weirdos. And I see no reason why this club should be turned into one. If the government would take its lead from a decently run golf club committee and adopt some of our rules to keep the undesirables out, 
this country would be a far better place to live in. Take my word. Yes, well, I agree with all that, Benny, but, I mean, it's not helping us to get rid of our undesirables, is it? You know, I find all this very confusing. Can't we just boot him out? Yeah, oh, don't worry, uh, Mr. President. I'll find a way. You know, the old days, life in this club was so much simpler. We only had to dislike somebody. That was enough. Oh. <laughs> Four oranges. It's supposed to pay out. A uh, steward, screwdriver. <laughs> There's four ladies dressed as men playing off the first tee. Yeah, well, some of our ladies do look like men. <laughs> some of quite a few of those. <laughs> some of our men look more like ladies. We've got a few of those as well. Hair down to their shoulders, chains round their neck, stink of a scent. It's disgusting. They're not allowed to play off the men's tees. They wouldn't be on the course at all if it was down to me. Yeah. Mr. Secretary, there are ladies playing off the men's tees. Uh, yes, Captain, I'm just going out there now. It's got to stop, Lady Captain. I'll not have it. It's that damn Johnson. He started all this. He's the one I blame. Tonic water, ice and lemons. He is the ringleader. What's the matter, Mr. President? Four of our ladies have announced they're having sex changes. <laughs> what? <laughs> is this true? Not four. Well, you told me four. I said some. Well, how many? Ten, in fact. <laughs> Ten? <laughs> Perhaps more. I don't know. I said four of them were out there playing. I think it's something they've eaten. <laughs> Coming out of the closet, are they? Well, something's happened to them. Well, obviously. Yeah, it's not normal. Well, of course it's not normal, man. <laughs> no, I mean, it's not normal. I mean, ten. It's extraordinary. Same club, same day. <laughs> I mean, one, two... Three? One is enough. One. Johnson. One male member having a sex change. That's enough for this club, and you haven't solved that problem yet. Me? Well, somebody's got to solve it. <laughs> now we've got ten ladies going the other way. I am the president of this club, and I will not have it. No, of course, Doctor, of course. <laughs> what, what do they think they're playing at? Well, you should have some idea, Mr. President. One of them is your wife. <laughs> My wife has not had a sex change. Now, if, if, if you were a man, madam, careful, I would careful, call you out. Careful, Mr. I, President. I'd careful. boot you around the clubhouse. Careful, Mr. You... President. The lady captain meant no offence, I'm sure. No offence? Well, something's going wonky if your wife had inclinations that way, Mr. President. I would have thought... Now, you be careful, Benny. You're not a woman. I can strike you. And you're not a woman. I can strike you back. No, 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 gentlemen, All please. I want you to say... Don't! My wife has not had a sex change, and she is not having a sex change, because I won't allow it. How do you know your wife's not having a sex change? You're not a doctor? I don't have to be a doctor. I'm a flaming husband. <laughs> I've got eyes. I can see out of them. I mean, now if she was a man or a woman... We'll have to take your word for that. <laughs> yes, you will. Wait a minute. <laughs> you can take my word for it. But she's never going to be a man either. Not while she's my wife, she won't. Not while I'm her husband, she's not. Of course, not. we all know that. Uh... My wife is a lady. Of course, sir. Every inch a lady. Uh, a lady having a sex change. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes, right here. <laughs> Two large scotches, please. Oh, God. Emily! That's my best suit you're wearing. <laughs> Gladys, what is all this nonsense? Oh, Emily and I decided to have a sex change, George. We wondered what it would be like to live as men. I must say we're enjoying ourselves. Oh, it's such a pleasure to be able to walk out of the house and slam the door behind you and not to have to think about it again until the bar closes. <laughs> not to have to worry about shopping and scrubbing, cleaning and cooking. Emily, is, is that one of my pipes there? Hmm? Uh, will you take that suit off? What, here, Harold? No, I must say it's 
fits you very well, Emily, but Nick does Harold. <laughs> what do you say, Mr. President, eh? A bit trimmer figure? <laughs> But, um, not quite as well as your suit fits your wife, Mr. Bennett. <laughs> my wife? Where is my wife? She's upstairs in the snooker room, Mr. Bennett. <laughs> Miss Johnson is teaching her to play. Get her out of there, Bennett. Ladies are not allowed in the snooker room. <laughs> Don't worry! <laughs> Don't be so silly, George. We're all going up there in a minute. You are not, Nora Good. What is all this nonsense, Emily? Oh, I'm going to have a sex change. No, no, like no. Mr. Johnson had. Well, don't look so shocked, Harold. Isn't it amazing? Harold hardly noticed anything I ever wore before. I could buy a new hat, a new dress, have my hair done. I might just as well have been invisible. Harold never noticed. But put on one of his old suits and smoke a pipe. He can't take his eyes off me. <laughs> mm, yes, all right, ladies. You've had a little laugh, you've had a little joke. I don't think it's all that funny myself, but we'll have a drink and forget all about it. Stuart? Oh, it's no joke, George. No, a lot of us ladies have decided to throw away our penny fours, petticoats and bras and climb into your wife runs and enjoy some of the privileges you men have been hogging to yourselves for far too long. You won't get away with all this. Well, Johnson got away with it. He claimed he's a woman now and we had to put up with that. If these ladies claim they're men, you'll have to put up with that. Yeah, but Johnson had a doctor's certificate. He had an operation. We'll have operations. You will not. <laughs> now, listen to me. I'm telling you, Gladys, you either take that suit off now or... Or what? If Johnson could have a sex change, so can these ladies. It's not just the prerogative of men to have sex changes, you know. And you'll find their sex change is just as hard to disprove as Johnson's is. The secretary was supposed to examine Johnson. Well, perhaps the secretary would care to examine these ladies. He will not. He hasn't examined Johnson yet. <laughs> it's not my function to go around examining the members to see what sex they are. This is a golf club, not an Olympic village. Have I missed all the fun? They tell me some of the ladies are dressing as men and having sex changes. Oh, I say. <laughs> I hear your Gladys is one of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, it's Daphne. <laughs> Regular sensible eating can help you to lose fat and get in shape. The Kellogg's Special K Breakfast with delicious malty flakes has only 190 calories. Kellogg's Special K. Get in shape. Lose the fat. <laughs> Whatever next. Ski Cool. Yes is a refreshing drink made with yogurt, milk, thank you, and real fruit juice. And now, of course, with the juice of tropical fruits. So, when it's hot out on the slopes, it really is the only way to keep your cool. As recommended by the ski instructor. Clever devil. Double protection. Reach out with confidence. There's always an alternative. This is a rule. To prove it, here's alternative breakdancing. Here's the alternative zebra crossing. Here's the alternative portable hi-fi. And here is the exception. Dreadful. Yeah. Nationwide Anglia Mortgage Service. I've heard that. Yeah, yeah they're terrible. Yeah. I'll tell you what, you go in there for a mortgage, before you know where you are, you've got one. You, you, you've got one. Exactly. <laughs> rush, rush, rush. Less than seven days, usually. So seven say. days for a mortgage. Yep. Oh. All finished up. Well, how are you going to get your pointless to in and fro in? Well, you'd hardly have time for a couple of decent gazumps. Let you? alone a proper argy bargy with a vendor. Not a proper one. Yeah, shouldn't be allowed. No, well, it's probably illegal in Scotland, I should think. Four hours, one bloke. Four One hours? poor bloke. Four hours. All done. <laughs> 
What's he going to talk about at dinner parties? Well, I shouldn't think he'd even be invited out, would he? Nationwide anger. Too ruddy fast by half. Mmm! Oaty, crumbly, creamy, chocolatey. New Hobnob bars. One nibble and your Hobnob double. Understand it. You were always a tough, strong, back breaking scrum half. And look at your boxing record ABA championships, army, and long hitting county player at golf. You've always been so, so macho. Well, that was all to please my father. Needlework was always my own passion. You should see my petit point. <laughs> I say, you, you must let me knit you a jumper sometime. I'm wonderful with wool. <laughs> I, um, I went dancing last night, and I learned how to follow. It's not easy. <laughs> this, this, this wasn't sudden, was it? I mean, you, you, uh, uh um, <laughs> you must have had some, well, you know, uh, foreboding. Feeling of change? Yes. Well, I always knew there was something different about me. We're all a bit androgynous, you know. Eh? <laughs> Do you know, the, the fetus is actually six weeks old before it decides what sex it'll be. Yeah, well, I don't know much about <laughs> biology. But I do know this, for most of us, once our fetus has decided, we do our best to stick by it. <laughs> and not go around confusing people. It's not very sporting, Mr. Johnson, the trouble you've caused this club and its members. You see, you... <coughs> <laughs> Sorry, old habits die hard, you think? Now, look here, Johnson. I'm the... <laughs> I'm leaning over backwards to help you. How do you have this exchange? <laughs> having this exchange is all very personal to you, I'm sure. But I don't hold with it, and neither, as you know, do other members of the club. Mm. How many it upsets the balance. And now it appears to be spreading. Some of the lady members are claiming to be men. Well, I don't blame them. I'm thinking of changing back. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, it's not much fun being a lady in a golf club, you know. <laughs> you didn't have to be a lady. You were a man. I mean, there was never anything funny about you. Not a whisper of all this. I don't understand. You were the complete opposite of a woman. Intelligent, good company, a pleasure to be with. <laughs> I still can be. Uh, may I? Yeah. No, I'm sorry, Johnson. The committee feel that you are a bad influence upon them. They feel that it's your example that's causing all this unrest. I mean, we've never had anything like this happen in the club before. We've always known in the past where we stand with our ladies and gentlemen, and that's the way we want to keep it. You're not married, are you, Mr. Secretary? Uh, no, no, listen, <laughs> Johnson. No lady in your life at all? No. Well, I can tell that with your buttons all hanging off. Yeah. You need a woman's touch. Yeah, um, Johnson, I didn't ask you to discuss my I buttons. mean, look at your collar. Um, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, now... <laughs> get your hairy hands off me. Listen, <laughs> I can explain. Lady Captain, I... <laughs> you see? Miranda! <laughs> it's a modern madness. Why can't they be content with the way God made them? Get on with being what they are mm. instead of trying to be what they're not cut out to be. I will not have women masquerading as men in this club. I won't have it. There's no good banging the table here, Mr. President. You should put your foot down at home. Yeah. We've always managed to run this club in a tidy, ship-shaped, Bristol fashion. Right, yeah. Repelling all ethics right, yeah, yeah. and keeping the club as decent as a gentleman's club should be. And now this, and from our own wives too. It's scandalous. A stab in the back from those dearest to us. Uh, I don't feel particularly dear to mine at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I must say, Harold, I, I think you've been a bit lax with your Emily. You don't seem <laughs> yeah. to keep her on a very tight rein, I must say. Yeah. I think she's one of the ringleaders in all this. Yeah. What about your Gladys? Oh, she's very easily led. <laughs> uh, don't you worry about my Gladys. I will bring her to heel in my own way. Oh, there oh, he is. Secretary. Oh, there secretary. Is. Where, where have you been? Um, I've been... I've been boarding up the snooker room. Good. <laughs> How do we get in there? 
Well, if anybody wants to play, you can put a ladder up to the window. <laughs> well, don't worry about the snooker room. What the hell are we going to do about these damn women? <laughs> don't you refer to my wife as these damn women, Jack. I am the president of this club. Well, act and like I, it, I... Mr. President. Boot your wife out the club. She's broken the rules, and club rules are club rules, and that's an end to it. All our wives have broken the club rules. It's not just the president's wife. My wife hasn't. Well, your wife doesn't play golf. She's not a member of the club. Huh. No, because I won't let her play golf. This is my club, not her club. My wife's at home, where she should be, cooking my supper. <laughs> not up here making a bloody nuisance of herself. Cooking your supper, is she? Uh. <laughs> Very fortunate, then, I know. It'll all blow over, I know. Uh-huh. And in the meantime? Well, we sit it out. They'll <laughs> tire of it, you'll see. But I don't want to sit it out. I pay my fees here to play golf. And I, for one, don't want the course cluttered up with a lot of silly women. Now, look, what my wife happens to be one of those silly women you're talking about, and I object to it. Now, I know she's behaved rather, um, well... At this very moment, your wife is in the men's bar dressed like Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> Complete the walking stick and fun a little bowl of <laughs> All right, all right, all right. She's behaved very badly, but she has never behaved like this before. Mm. Well, don't be too hard on her, Woodley. Women mm. have to go through these crises at certain times of their life. It's part of their nature. Mm. They're not built like us, you see. Mm. And, of course, it affects, uh, it affects their mind. See, it's at a certain time in the change of life, some of it can become quite fun in the head. Gentlemen, I've been thinking. Two can play at this game, you know. Woodley, your Daphne has taken to wearing your best suit. Yes. Well, how would she take to you wearing her best dress? What? Oh, oh that little red number with a spit on the side. <laughs> Kill me. Huh? And what about your wife, Captain? I don't want to wear her dresses, thank you. Switch uh -huh. rose. Exactly. I, I think you've got something there, Willis. Mm. You, you, you see, what you do is you put on your wife's dresses, wear their makeup, and sit at home painting your nails. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I, I, I couldn't. I, I couldn't wear my wife's clothes. Oh, yes, you could, Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> Let them out. <laughs> I think we're on to something here. Hoist them with their own petard. Mm. Tell them that we've had a sex change too, and that from now on, they can be the husbands, we'll be the wives, they can go out to work and do all the breadwinning. And we can sit at home and uh, eat chocolate. <laughs> my wife does a bit more than that, Woodley. I wish my wife did. <laughs> so, we'll all agree, Jess. Yes. Yeah. The awful mess in the clubhouse, isn't it? I mean, all the ladies dressed as men and the men dressed as ladies. We we'll have to do it on a night there are no visitors. Well, it only needs a couple of you. And we can do it on whist night. Members only night. Well, as it only needs a couple of us, I suggest the two senior members volunteer. Yes. No. No. <laughs> we should draw straws. Yes. Petard. <laughs> Car par state. They're a bit late, aren't they? I hope they haven't backed out. All right. Perhaps they've picked up a couple of sailors. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies, gentlemen, please. At approximately 8.15 this evening, the president was arrested. <laughs> the, the president was arrested? My Harold? What for? Yeah, I've just had the police on, he's down at the station. He was on his way here, apparently, and he was taken short. <laughs> well, of course, he had to use a public convenience, and uh, naturally, <laughs> naturally, he uh, used a gent. Oh, I should hope so. He was wearing his wife's clothes. <laughs> he was wearing Emily's clothes? Good God! Well, uh, you see what this sort of thing leads to? I mean, I don't know how we propose to explain all this. What about George? Where was he? George? My husband. George, a captain. <clears throat> he was arrested as well. George was arrested too, whatever for. He was wearing your clothes. <laughs> George was wearing my clothes. I'll kill him. Uh, it, it's all right, uh, Mr. Secretary. We'll explain the situation, tell the police. I mean, it's, it's all perfectly innocent. Ah, uh, hello, Inspector. Yes, sir. Inspector, where is my... Just a moment, sir, one at a time. <laughs> 
Are the gentleman I spoke to on the telephone? Uh, yes, I'm the secretary of this club, and I'm sure it can all be satisfactorily explained. I'm sure it can, sir, and you'll have your chance at the magistrate's court. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, does it have to go as far as that, Inspector? You trying to bribe me, sir? No. <laughs> yes, Inspector. She means no. She? He. <laughs> The man you arrested is my husband. Your husband, sir? And my husband, too. <laughs> You're getting all this down, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Now, as I understand it, the gentleman I arrested, is he spouse to both you gentlemen? Uh, no. Uh, you see, these are not gentlemen at all. These are just... These are ladies dressed as gentlemen. R.I.C. And they are both married to the gentleman who I arrested who is dressed as a lady. Is that it? No. <laughs> yes! What kind of club are you running here? <laughs> a golf club. <laughs> oh, you play golf as well, do you? Good evening, everybody! <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Who's this? Mr Johnson. <laughs> Mr. Johnson. Miss. Miss Johnson. Some of our chaps play up here, Inspector. They do, do they? Golf, I mean. Hello, darling. Watch it, sir. Don't you recognise me, darling? I'm warning you, sir. <laughs> it's me, Kate, your wife. This is where I play golf. Here? Yeah. Good God, what have I uncovered? That's oh, perfectly innocent, Inspector. <laughs> and that's my best suit you're wearing. That's your only suit. I could hardly wear one of your uniforms. <clears throat> Sergeant. Uh, get yourself a drink, lad. <coughs> and get me one. <laughs> and those notes you're taking. Oh, that's all right, sir. <coughs> I can tear them up. That was uh, very decent of the sergeant. Not really. That bloke in the corner wearing the plus fours is his wife. <laughs> offered a reward for public spirited behaviour now on Channel 4. And next on YTV, World in Action with a disturbing report from the trouble-torn streets of Northern Ireland.